So, um, what are we gonna do tonight, O.C.? Well, the same thing we try to do every night, but take her for the words. Uh, I mean, YouTube. Take her by YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer. Joined once again by my faithful manservant slash Pacto to Bertram. Say hello, Bertram. Hello, Bertram. And this is my review for Deathloop. So, my friends, Deathloop released on the 14th of September and is a first person shooter, Groundhog Day type thing. Ah, I do enjoy a first-person shooter, uh, Groundhog Day type thing. Yes, quite. So, story. Now we play as Colt, who wakes up with no memory of who he is or what he has done. So, Colt's goal in this game is to assassinate eight wankers to stop the time loop he is trapped in. Um, isn't that a normal day for us? Shut up, Bertram. Speaking of time loops, can you imagine reliving the same day over and over, doing the exact same things, telling the exact same jokes, Making love to the same right hand over and over. Um, isn't that a normal day for us? Uh, we get up, we get dressed, play a game, review a game, play another game, get undressed, get into the shower together, go to bed together, make love. Yes, thank you, Bertram, I think. I get your point. <clears throat> so, in a nutshell, you have three lives with which to kill the aforementioned eight wankers in one day. Now lose those three lives and the day will reset and you'll have to do it all over again. Um, sounds complicated. Ah, uh, yes, but that's because you are a retard, Bertram. Oh! I mean, it's really quite simple. One day, three lives, kill eight wankers. Now, obviously, to figure out how to do that, you're probably going to have to do many, many, many runs of the game. Now, you are supposed to learn from each run to hopefully get better at the game and be able to progress. Um, and what did you learn? Uh, not to cook a grenade. It so happens that's a surefire way to blow it up and kill yourself. Ah, you forgot to throw it. No, I put it in the oven. Oh. So, what else can I tell you about the game? Oh yes, now at certain points you might be invaded by a bitch who will try to kill you, unless you put one between her ears first. Um, does this bitch have a name? Oh, I'm sure she does, but um, it eludes me at the moment, so I'll just refer to her as a bitch. Now this bitch will be controlled by a tosser online, unless you are playing the game offline. In that case, the bitch will be AI controlled. Um, and does this tosser have a name? Oh, I'm sure they do, but it eludes me at the moment, so I'll just refer to them as a tosser. So, what did I think of Deathloop? Well, 
Usually I find these types of games more frustrating than a man with no arms getting a constant erection. Um, doesn't he have a girlfriend? No. A uh, boyfriend? No. A uh, sex doll? No. Um, couldn't he just masturbate? Uh, he's got no bloody arms. Oh! Oh, well, well, that would be frustrating. That was my point. <coughs> now, thankfully, Death Loop is a damn fun time while it lasts. I managed to complete the game in, oh, ten hours. Um, yes, but didn't you use a guide? Shut up, Bertram. <laughs> Therefore, I'm going to give Deathloop an 8 out of 10. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My review for Deathloop. If you enjoyed this little review of mine, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, well then, feel free to give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to hit that bloody like, subscribe, bell button. Dingy. Feel free to share this video with everyone you know, but remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer, and that is to always stay obsessed with gaming. Say goodbye, Bertram. Goodbye, Bertram. Are you still here? Go away. I'm sure you've got something better to do with your time. No, seriously, piss off, be gone, au revoir, a vidazine, bye. What in the hell is wrong with you? Go away, vacate this space. Hit the cross at the top of the screen. The video is done. It's over. It's finito. It's caputo.